Evening, welcome to the Hot and Spicy, back inside. Um, a bit cloudy out there, it's been a nice day, uh, but uh, just a cloudy one. So, we've got an ice cold glass we're having Kingfisher Premium Lager Beer, 4.5%. Um, probably made here somewhere. And this Birra Moretti, 4.8%. Uh, uh, unfiltered with a hint of Italian sea salt. Sea salt? Oh. Well, then we'll try it. I like the sound of that. Anyway, it, it, I always do this. It might be something different. Anyway, how are you doing? Alright. Okay, let's try it. Bit cloudy, see, that's what it is. But if it's nice, we don't mind, do we? Right. Okay, so we're having a kebab. Uh, chicken, meat, kashwari or something. I can, uh, it's in the end too. Uh, chicken meat. This is a kebab bread or pita bread. And what I've done is heated the bread. I've thinly sliced onion, cucumber. God, I can smell it tomatoes I put garlic mayo on the base of this but all the kebab meat is meant to be hot the kebab meat we don't know then I put some naga ghost chili sauce then I put some Thai chili sauce onions cucumber tomato bit more uh, Thai sauce and a bit more naga then some of the garlic mayo on top doesn't look much from the outside, but inside it looks quite nice, doesn't it? Hopefully. These are just some um, Blue Dragon um, belly pork slices, salt and pepper. These are slightly overdone. It's my fault. But there's a coating on there which has gone black. But Inside I... Oh, that's nice. And then, I've been dying to try this, see this? This is a battered cheeseburger. Anyway, I'm too excited. We'll have a drink first. I'll cut that in half. I'm not having it in a burger because it's too much, isn't it? But I just wanted to try it and I wanted to show you. You may have tried it. All from Iceland, except the beer. Yeah, back inside. I enjoy doing the ones outside. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Cheers. Cheers. I had to cut then, if you see a cut. A bit of that went the wrong way. <coughs> so I spare you the choking bit. Good health, all the best. Wow. Hit the roof, baby. Wow, that is nice. And it's cold. Oh, that's lovely. What a start to an evening. Mm. Right. We'll cut this in half. Look at this. Knife and fork. I know to use one. Alright, so. <clears throat> in there. I can't see myself. Obviously, it's a, it's a double patty, very thin, and there's a see that yellow line in the middle, very thin line of cheese. Smells delicious, so let's give it a try. Mmm. Just gonna add a bit of. Um, 
just a bit of hot sauce to this. Let me just try it with it. Sorry to mess about. That steps it up for me. See the sauce. Now considering that's quite moist in the middle, you can taste the cheese. Not a lot of it. Doesn't look like what it, on the package. It looks a good thick. Um, yeah, same on that side. There's not not a lot there, but. Mm. Delicious. Right, let's see if we can make a mess with this. I may cut this in half actually. Easy to handle. Should have brought my sharp knife really. There's no editing on this, it's straight as it is. Right, here we go. There you go, that's more like it, look at that. It's a Paul H kebab. Mm. Holy smoke, that is good, that is good. Bread is from Aldi. Thank you, Mrs. H. Got me that today. Wow, that is lovely. And now I'm getting the. There's a combination, you see, Naga, so there's good kick there. And then the Thai sauce, which has a sweetness to it, but also adds to a kick, and it's, it's just starting to burn now, back of the throat, and just coming into the mouth. Oh, that's nice. Plus this stuff will have a bit of an impact to it. That's Louisiana hot sauce. This is lovely. Mm. The only thing missing is that shredded lettuce they put on it for you to drop all the way home from the pub, you know that type of thing. If you want to know where somebody is, I'll just follow the letters. <laughs> so how has this week treated you? Good, I hope. Let's make sure there's no because um, <clears throat> when I edit this after, there's a bit of bloody stuff here. And I can imagine people saying, wipe that there, will you? And I'm there. You know, there's n <laughs> nothing in here goes together, really. Nothing. <laughs> But I'm trying things, but the combination is amazing. Mm. That is lovely, the meat. It's only from um, Iceland. Put it in the um, oven. Now, believe it or not, Mrs. H purchased, it's got to be three to four months ago, an air fryer. It's in the kitchen by the kettle and we've never used it yet. Gonna have to start using it. I know there are <clears throat> a few in work. 
and people I deliver to and you people use them and swear by them That is lovely. I'm quite impressed with that. Lovely. Well, as I was going to say, I can't taste any salt, but <laughs> with all this lot, there's no wonder it's just. Well, there wouldn't be that much in there, don't we? That was a nice drink there. So what are you having this evening? Take away, eat in, cook yourself, party, fish and chips, pizza, curry, kebab, what else is it? Italian, I don't know, Cantonese, Chinese. <laughs> The good old favourite beans on toast. Mm. This is lovely. So there's a burn in the mouth, it's not going any higher, but <clears throat> there's just this constant sort of heat, you know, burn, kick. Coating. I've overdone these a bit. Hands up to that. Because they're thinner um, than what they should have been, really. For the heat, they said, and the length of time to cook them. My fault, though, I should have seen that. Um, but a lot of the black at the edge. Is this sort of glaze they give you with it, like a um, chilli sauce, but it's heated and then it sort of caramelises on the edge, but it gives a lovely flavour. Just like, the, you know, like um, crispy bits, like the burnt edges, just gives it that bitterness among the sweetness and, I don't know, that's how I think. That's how it tastes. Right. You've not had this for a while. You know it's coming, don't you? <laughs> if you don't like this, skip a minute or whatever. There you go. Let's have a look at this mood. <coughs> right. <coughs> Teacher to the pupil. You should have been here nine o'clock. Pupil, why? What happened? The, have I said this one? This rings a bell, this. Anyway. The police arrested two men, one for drinking battery acid, I think I've said this, and one for eating fireworks. They charged one and let the other one off. What's the loudest sound in the jungle? Giraffes eating cherries. Is it just me or does that come? Uh... Teacher, if I have three apples in one hand and four apples in the other hand, what do I have? The pupil, flipping big hands, miss. Why was the useless goalkeeper called Dracula? Because he was afraid of crosses. Oh, come on. Why was the timid defender called Cinderella? He kept running away from the ball.
What do you call a man with a nappy on his head? Terry. That's an old, you'd have to be a certain age to remember that. <laughs> What's the best way to kill a circus? Go straight for the juggler. Right. Okay. There you go. So, people like the uh, bad dad jokes. They were bad and they were dad jokes. But to be fair, there is some crackers in there. Crackers, you get not Christmas crackers. Mmm. What are you having? Come on! Mmm. <laughs> wow. We've got a mixture here of garlic mayo and hot sauce. Beef burger, cheese, and batter. And it works. Mm. So, what's the plans this weekend? Bank holiday this week? End? <coughs> this week? This weekend. Oh, that's a nice burn now. Excuse me. Hang on a minute. Mmm. That is lovely. Yes, yeah, so bank holiday Monday. May bank holiday. So if it's a bank holiday wherever you are in the world, have a great weekend. If you're working through it, which many are, thanks for your service. Yeah. At the moment we're in 20 mile an hour territory in Wales with a lot of the old 30s and it's caused a bit of a nuisance if you like uh, in regards to everything takes longer now and you know you know why they've done it but I think they've done it too drastically in places where it doesn't need to be 20 so uh there's a new leader in Wales now, in the Senedd in Cardiff, and he's said he's going to be looking into it to make some of the some of the twenties back to thirty. I mean, I understand outside schools, maybe where there's shops, um, you know, playgrounds, anything where there's people or children, or whatever, or anybody, everybody's important, aren't they? I can understand that, but some of the uh, places, yeah, I don't think don't think need to be. But anyway, what I'm going to say is, our vehicles in work are tracked. Everything you do, so you can tell how hard you brake, speed, even your cornering or something else, whatever. If the vehicle's stationary, how long is stationary? How fast you got everything. So we have to adhere to the speed limit. Otherwise, you're brought in in front of the management the next day. Oi! Yeah? You're doing 35 here. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> he doesn't sound like that, really. So, I'm going along now in a place called Clan Ryder, which is between Rithin and Denby in North Wales. Going along there. 20 ish and uh, there's a new housing estate being built you see in that village and it's, so they've extended the 20 
<laughs> oh, lad behind me had enough. He was late for work or something, I don't know what was wrong with him. He took off 50 at least. It's gone. And I thought, God, what the police car on that corner? <laughs> but he just couldn't take no more. He'd had enough. This uh, going like a snail. So it made me laugh really. But I said, you know, I said to myself, I'm not doing this on purpose. Everybody wants to go. Hmm. Anyway. Let's try it on. But flavoursome. So everything was lovely. This chicken kebab, a polite kebab, I want to call it. Um, absolutely just right for me that everything in it. Kebab meat meant to be hot. I couldn't get any flavour of heat from the meat, but I've added naga and Thai chilli, so maybe there was, but that overpowered it because they were hot together. The cucumber, tomato, red onion, thinly sliced, everything thinly sliced, um, garlic mayo, hot sauces, combination, beautiful, absolutely worth the treat. Um, and this, very surprising. Not a lot of cheese in it, but very flavoursome, really nice. Mmm, you see more of the cheese now. Lovely. Belly pork, slightly overdone, but um, again, I think it looks worse than it. Well, these end bits are gone, but it looks a bit worse than it is. Uh, that bit there was stringy, but this here. Mm. Perfect, lovely. So I'll love you and leave you. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've had anything, I hope you enjoy it. I enjoy it. Uh, I know some parts of America watch this and it's sort of lunchtime or some, just after lunch or something, so you're waiting to, um, for the evening to, <laughs> to come. But... Um, yeah, have a great weekend. If you follow me on my other channel, I'll see you in the morning. Um, if not, I'll see you in the next video. So take care, have a great weekend, happy bank holiday, and uh, all the best. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I really enjoyed that.